All right, y'all, welcome back to the show. We're looking at Drive in Germany on the Autobahn A9 top speed run to Berlin. Excuse me, Berlin. Uh, so this is just simply a drive on the Autobahn, and I know that might sound hilarious or, quite frankly, dare I say, boring to some of you, but honestly, it's fascinating for me because, uh, as you might know, over here in America, the Autobahn is quite famous in Germany because, well, it's a long, beautiful highway from what I've heard, and, of course, uh, there are sections where there is no speed limit. So that idea, uh, I think a lot of Americans would love, uh, but unfortunately, we just don't have here. Now, of course, people speed here and, and the whole nine yards, but it's not great. It'd be nice to go from maybe like a small town in the middle of nowhere to a big city that's, you know, supposed to be an hour away. But if you have no speed limit, you can get there pretty quick as long as one important thing, people uh, know the rules of the road and know courtesy on the highway and know to keep to the right unless they're going fast or unless they're passing, which uh, unfortunately on our American highways, uh, nine out of 10 people have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> So I will be looking at this. This is obviously a two-hour video. It will be linked in the description down below uh, as we're definitely not going to watch this whole thing, uh, but you can check them out and check their channel out. This is from a channel called Your Cameraman, and this was suggested through email uh, by Metal Auto 69 so I appreciate that. Uh, this is an interesting suggestion because I'm going to be looking at how traffic behaves. I'm going to be looking at, you know, if I can tell the velocity that they're going faster than normal. Normal being most highways have a speed limit of, I don't know, 60, 70, maybe 75 miles per hour here in the U.S. I'm a nature lover. I just want to see the scenery. So let's get right into it, all right? We're just going to skip around and kind of enjoy this, all right? Almost like a highway ASMR. We get to hear the sounds, you know? And uh, first impressions, I wonder if this was filmed in the fall or autumn because uh, I should answer that. That's my wife. Hold on. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, based on the trees, the colors, I think it's autumn. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just get into it. <laughs> of course, I will be enjoy looking at like the trucks, those semi trucks. I assume maybe some MAN, some DAF trucks, some Scania's. I love the Euro trucks I've been learning about, that is for sure. And I want to try Euro Truck Simulator really, too, really soon, it's been coming been a long time coming so I promise I will get to that very soon look at the street signs are all in blue very interesting ours are usually in green and of course the traffic look at that funny looking car right here what is that is that one of those um yeah that's a BMW we actually do have those here in the United States but they're very rare not many people buy them I see signs for Berlin indeed so it looked like we were going pretty fast at the beginning, and now we slow down just slightly because uh, naturally there's traffic here. There's an ambulance on the road. A lot of domestic cars, domestic meaning German, because we're in Germany, right? So I'm seeing a lot of Volkswagens, BMWs, of course some other cars as well that look like a Land Rover. But look at this long stretch. Very nice, just some slight hills, beautiful trees and greenery on the side and you can hear him accelerate i don't know what car we're in but it's uh, something that obviously has a capability of going decent rate of speed i'd say Ooh, so look you got someone okay look at that silver car it got over in the left lane then it got right back over now perhaps they saw our camera car coming in the mirror pretty fast and they thought, oh, I better get uh, over to the right. <laughs> I'm sure that's what happened. We even have some campers or some RVs. Very cool. That's always a interesting concept I'd like to learn about is RV or caravan culture, whatever you wanna call it, recreational vehicle culture. Uh, I suppose road tripping all around Europe would be interesting, right? Lots of different cultures, languages, food, scenery. That's a cool semi truck and trailer right here. I like the blue and white. I can't tell what it is from the side. Uh, now we got some nice looking hills over here too. This is really nice. And we got our windshield washer. <laughs> 
windshield washer fluid. Oh, an Opal van. Nice. We have a lot of Opal products in the U.S. They're just rebadged as Buicks and Saturns and whatever else. Forwarded now. Look at that flatbed van. It looks like a van chassis, but it's like a flatbed attachment. That's interesting. Oh, and we even have the windmills over here. Slightly different look, at least in the base here, than the windmills you see in the U.S. I like how it has the markings, too. The red and white. Ours are just plain white. Very interesting difference there. Lots of windshield washer fluid, I've noticed. Now, is that because of uh, natural just road grime, bugs hitting the windshield, stuff like that? I mean, obviously, that's a thing everywhere. Why would that be different than here? I mean, yeah, you need to use that here as well on the highway. <laughs> the blue sky wants to, to peek through. Now, this van, okay, so I would say the average German... Uh, group of traffic, the average German driver, whatever, I've heard from these videos is probably better than I, you'd expect to find in most of the U.S., and I'd probably agree with that. Uh, but I'm, they're not perfect, right? This is the second person I've seen in very little footage here that seems to have cut over and then, oh, get, got back over, you know, essentially uh, almost cut off our cameraman here. Not quite cut off, but this fan came close. He, he luckily got back over to get out of the way. But I noticed that he kind of got over maybe perhaps without looking and then thought, oh, someone's already here and they're going pretty fast. <laughs> so I better jump back over to the right. So uh, interesting to see that there. The road looks great. Looks super smooth. The paint is super visible. Nothing's cracked or chipped or faded. Uh, even the concrete wall in the middle is in great shape. The guardrail on the right is in great shape. Uh, so I like to see that, that the road is very well maintained, as it should be. I mean, it is the Autobahn, and if it's an unlimited speed section, then it should be in perfect shape because uh, obviously you don't want to have potholes and, and unevenness, uh, in, at least maximum unevenness in the road when you expect people to go uh, in excess of 100 miles per hour, 100, you know, 40 miles per hour, whatever the case is. That needs to be safe and in good shape. But yeah, I'm really loving the scenery. The scenery is great. Ooh, Jeez, look at this beautiful sunny countryside. The clouds have broken. It is now sunny and blue skies. And it is just wide open road at this point. Look at these, look at that. Road looks like a ribbon going up that hill. Very cool. Wow. Interesting terrain in this part of Germany for sure. I like it. It's not straight up mountainous, but it's not straight up flat either. It's kind of in between. Got some big hills, some rolling hills. All the different vehicles are very interesting to me. I'm such a car nerd. Lots of different types of vans and trucks for sure. I like the road signs. They're very ref uh, reflective blue, very high vis good visibility easy to read even though uh, I don't know German <laughs> beautiful countryside here what you know it's not like we're doing 210 miles an hour or something obscene but we're going a good rate of speed and what I like about that is the idea that I could get places that I know that are supposed to be two hours away and Maybe I could get there an hour and 20 minutes instead. Like you could cut all these times off, uh, you know, not necessarily in half, maybe in half. I don't know. But you can knock off a good chunk of time just by going faster and being aware and being careful. I like it. That's why I like the idea of the Autobahn. I think it's very fascinating. And uh, it'd be fun to let your car breathe a little bit, wouldn't it? I wish there was just somewhere in the U.S. that had this. Like just one option, right? But there's not. Interesting, I think we have some radio, some German radio on. I can faintly hear it. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear it or not. I obviously don't know what they're saying. <laughs> but it's very cool to hear. I think it's always fun to hear different languages being spoken by locals. I think it's awesome.
we are going a good rate of speed if you see these plants on the side flying by. Wow. Oh, this looks so fun. It, it's very satisfying to watch, too. It's just a beautiful highway. Look at this beautiful day. The blue sky and the road is so nice. And I haven't seen any construction either. That's what blows my mind. Not every state is so bad, but like Illinois is famous for, it's always construction season. Like my whole life, Illinois has always been under construction. I swear it is freaky. Like how they work on the highway for 20 years straight, I'll never know. <laughs> now it's later in the day. You can see the angle of the sun on the clouds is falling behind us, I believe. And we're still covering some ground. Now I wanna say, or I wanna wonder rather, that this video is 100 or um, an hour and 41 minutes in total. And it looks like they've been carrying a great rate of speed for uh, basically all of it. And now I see in the description that they drove from Munich to Berlin. Wow, if we look from Munich to Berlin, you can see that is in Southern Germany, all the way up to Berlin, which is in, you know, the Northern half of Germany up here. Uh, that is, pretty wild and it says via a9 is your best route um there's a road closure on b2 and it does show road construction funnily enough although i i'm i'm sure it's not as bad as Illinois construction could be um it is says six hours and two minutes so i'm not sure if there was bits and pieces cut out of that video i also would like to know if how this even calculates how does maps calculate on Audubon considering obviously it gives you a time estimate here in the U.S. because there's always a speed limit on every road and it knows that. So it calculates your speed or your time rather on if you go the exact speed limit, right? And of course, if you go, if you speed a little bit, if you go a little over the limit, you can cut that time down. But in Germany, if you're on the A9, you can go unlimited speed, I'm assuming on a great part of this. Maybe not all of it, but probably uh, some bits and pieces of it. And I bet you could get that time down pretty rapidly. Maybe you could get this down to five hours, maybe four and a half. I'm not really sure. If you want to weigh in on that, go ahead and let me know. And, and like I said, this video is an hour and 41, so I assume there's been tons of footage that was cut out. But uh, very interesting to see. Um, I hope that was fun for you. It was fun for me. Maybe this wasn't the like most fun video for you if you're from Germany or from the surrounding area and uh, you have been on Autobahn. You're probably like, I see this every day. What's the big deal? <laughs> well, it's fascinating to me because this is just so foreign to me. I, I've never gotten to experience this. But I do like the scenery. I like the trees. Uh, and, of course, seeing this car just go really, really fast and stick to the left lane it's kind of refreshing. It'd be something that I wanted to do and we just can't do here. There's always speed limits everywhere. And not to mention the general flow of this was pretty good with the exception of a couple people that did cut in front of our camera car here. Uh, other than that, it looked pretty good. Big vehicles generally were in the right where they're supposed to be. Uh, and then whatever size vehicles that were just going at a slower pace were in the middle or on the right. And generally everyone that was in the left lane was going fast. And that's how it should be. So this was pretty fun to see. Uh, make sure to use that link in the description down below so you can check out this whole video if you want to do that or at least check out their channel. And uh, please keep your suggestions coming, okay? I've been doing a lot of different variety of videos lately and it's really, really fun. Uh, but there's a hell of a lot more I want to do on Germany and uh, I really could use your suggestions. So thank you guys so much. Please throw a like on there if you you enjoyed this subscribe to be part of this amazing community leave me a comment if you drive on the autobahn or the a9 in particular every day and tell me how it is that being said y'all my name is ian you watch the 9w rocker until next time and catch you later